Number three, a system does 1.8 times 10 to the 8 joules of work while 7.5 times 10 to the 8 joules of heat transfer occurs to the environment. Okay. What is the change in internal energy of the system, assuming no other changes? All right. Please check out number two. I went through this uh, in much detail about the signage here and also that I changed the formula. I don't look at it as delta you, even though this is what the book gives and whatever, there's a certain rationality for that. I, I look at it differently. So please check out number two. Um, uh, I think it's a little more intuitive. So I, I say that the change in internal energy is equal to the is equal to the heat plus then the work. Okay. And now what I do, once I have this, I then consider the signs of Q and W independently. So from the perspective, by the way, of the system. Okay. This is the change in internal energy of a system, and that's equal to then the change in essentially heat energy of the system plus the change in heat uh, work energy, basically. All right. So that being the case, they tell us that this many joules, 7.5 times 10 to the 8 joules of heat transfer occurs to the environment. So does that sound from the perspective of a system, right? Pretend your system is a, is a pan on the stove, all right? And it says that the heat energy that's uh, inherent in this pan is being donated, essentially, or is occurring to the environment. From the perspective of this pan, does that mean that pan is losing heat energy or gaining it? Well, it should be pretty obvious it's losing it, right? Therefore, since it's losing it, I plug in a negative 7.5 times 10 to the 8, okay? Then I say, okay, plus now my work. So then I'm going to say, I'm going to go back. A system does, okay, 1.8 times 10 to the 8 joules of work. And then I have to think about, well, what does that mean? That means that the system work is being done by the system or the system is doing work to something else, right? That means if the system's doing work on something else, that, that system is losing energy, all right? It's losing energy. So that has to be negative now. So 1.8 times 10 to the 8, and then literally just simply add it together. So here we go. So we get, uh, it's essentially an addition, right? Just uh, double negative. So negative 7.5 times 10 to the 8 minus 1.8 times 10 to the 8. And what do we get? So we get uh, negative 9.3 times 10 to the 8, right? And that is in terms of now joules. So that should hopefully make sense, right? That the total internal energy of the system, which we said is basically a summation of the change in heat and change in work, all right, should be then a negative 9.3 times 10 to the 8. Why? Well, not only is the system losing heat energy, but it's also losing, quote unquote, work energy because it's doing work on something else. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe and remember, check out number two. Take care.